Generic greetings and welcome back to production line once again in the previous episode we started to build the production line for our three second car so at any station it doesn't or at any at any line area it doesn't wait more than three seconds to go on to the next one so the idea is that after all of that the output the throughput should be three cars uh, sorry three seconds per car that's the objective whether or not we manage it is really up for debate and we'll see in this episode because we will be finishing it off in the previous episode we went ahead and placed things like these um painting areas and painting stations we didn't do the upgrades so i will go ahead and sort that out now i just want to go around and uh, make sure that we have it all sorted like that and we will then connect it all up as you do and then make sure that we have all of the resource conveyors in as well and then we'll move over to building the chassis and then the body actually it's a body first and then chassis because we are doing it in backwards order for whatever reason i just prefer it that way i don't know why i don't think it makes any difference mathematically but uh, either way let's just crack on so I'll bring this down and obviously we need to connect these up these are going to be slightly different from the other connections because they have this sort of little uh, curve in them but that's okay and we just need to make sure that we click on there just so they are connected up I'm sure there will be somewhere in this line an issue um, the the worrying part is uh, the thing that it worries me is that I don't know yet what sort of issue that is is it a minor one or is it a major one like is the issue simply i've i haven't got one of these connections here like if i have and i haven't done that if that's the issue then you know what i don't really care because i can fix it however if the issue is something like i've missed out an entire step then this is all bad so we'll see how it goes right we will now do something a bit different. We're going to bring the line along like so because we want to have the next building area in here, which is going to be, we've done the painting, we need to fit the body. So fitting body, you start with the, the well, we're going to start with the doors, which we will place again on this back corner here. And how far away do we want it from the, from the edge? I think one away from the edge is fine uh we're just going to get things like driver assistance and stuff we're just researching everything because we can so this will go uh do i need it one away from the edge not i think a couple away from the edge would be the better i the better way of doing it probably there just so we can keep that line free yeah so here we go this is fitting the doors with three upgrades we are down to 11.02 seconds so if we get the old calculator, 11.02 divided by 3 is not enough. 4 is 2.755 seconds. So we need 4 of these. So 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Okay. Roofing is apparently... We're not going to get much in this area, are we? We're going to have to come back out to the next one. Uh, roofing is 7.35. By the way... I'm not too sure whether people uh, really care for all of the maths and things like that in this. Then, um, if that is the case, then sorry, I guess it's just you know the way I've decided to do it. I I was always guesstimating the guesstimating the stuff previously, and I decide that you know what I don't know why I don't just get a calculator out because we're not doing hardcore maths here. We're just essentially trying to we're just dividing it by however many we've got. It's just. Uh, Instead of guessing what we're going to get, we're actually getting proper numbers off it now. So we know that, assuming I've got my calculations correct, however, that they are, that they, that they are right. Which, you know, the, the chances are I haven't got my calculations correct. And obviously we're going to have resource problems and we'll have clog ups. And I think the main issue is that Alpha Game and Alpha will spring up and we'll have bits where it'll just feed the resources to... Uh, the end of the belt instead of just putting it in the empty slot like it's done previously but you know what if it does that then there's not there's nothing we can do about it there's things we can do to alleviate the issue but you know what we do our best and that's all you can really hope for right so these haven't got stockpile connections so i think it's important that i do fix that and i probably go for resource conveyor from here actually resource importer from there 
and then with the conveyor we'll run across like so and then down and then across like that and then into this one and obviously we'll go one two three one two three and then there's that, there's that sorted this one is going to have the similar sort of thing which will run across and then we will actually go for something while i'm here i will run it oh this one's going to run around the back like that and then up to there and we'll have a resource imported there Hang on. There we go. Resource importer there, which says it can't be placed, but it can be placed. And weirdly, it uh, didn't connect up because, of, yeah, we didn't place it properly. There we are. And this one will come along to there. And then finally, importer. There you go. Right. So that's all the resources in. Excellent. So we'll just double check. It is doors roof and then body frame which is 40 seconds okay let's expand this area because we're probably going to spend most of our money here so it's going to come down and then there's nothing on this side for me to well to stop me placing this right there so 40 seconds wow okay 40 seconds uh which if we have fully upgraded is 33.35 so what 11 of them Divided by 11 is 3.03. .03. If we have 12 of them, I'll put 112. 12 of them is 2.7 seconds. 10 of them is 3.3, .3, so that's outside of tolerance. So we could sell for 11, which is 3.03, .03, and then lots and lots and lots of numbers after that. 11 of them, 11 body frames. Again, I could break it down, but you know what? I, I've already mentioned in the previous episode that I don't want to do that. I do want to... Um, have it as a one breakdown for this entire thing. And we can't stagger them because of the shape. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then we might as well put a 12th on there just to bring it. Um, I mean, it's within tolerance, even if we do have just the one, you see, but I think it would be best to just do it this way. The extra one will not harm it. You know. I know I'm running close to tolerance with some of these things, so it's probably best if I... I'm going to have to get rid of that. Probably best if I do it this way anyway. And do you know what's going to be fun? Going ahead and placing all the robots on these. <laughs> uh, i tell you what's going to be even more fun. Going around and trying to have the resource importers for it. Uh, we do have two resources. We've got a resource importer there. We've got a resource importer there. We've got a resource importer. Oh, we've got two of them back here. Three of them back here. Oh, resources will be fine. This will be easy. We can split it up. We can have half on one line and half on the other. Easy. That's okay. Right. So the work begins. One, two, and then three. Obviously, it's shouting no route to stockpile, but we'll sort that. I'm sort of regretting my decision of not sorting the not sorting the um, breakdowns up. Should have really sorted that and decided on a double breakdown. It would have probably made it a bit easier. I mean, actually, it probably would have expanded. It probably would have taken up more room, but it'll just be more efficient in the end, in the long run. But you know what? What's done is done. And there we go. So there's all those upgraded. Phew! Right, so that was the body frame. We'll just double check. So it is... It should go uh, body frame, roof, doors. Body frame, roof, doors. Job done. Right. So, that is that. And finally, it's the chassis. So, uh, the chassis breakdown is fuel tank, undercarriage, and then the axles. So, fuel tank uh, says 8 seconds, but when we upgrade it, it will go down to just under 6. Oh, no, just over 6. So, we'll have 3 of them. Undercarriage is strangely very, very fast. Like, 5 point... <laughs> A 3.5, so technically two of. That's it. Wow, okay. Yeah, you know there's going to be issues, don't you? You know there's going to be a massive backlog somewhere. <laughs> Alright. And I'm still 
really quite worried. I mean, I don't worry. I'm not, I'm not losing any sleep over it, but um, I'm I'm still concerned that there might be a point in this line where I've just got it wrong. So anyway, this is the last part we would hope, and uh, it's ten point nine eight divided by four. I reckon two point seven. That'll do us. And there you go. That should technically be everything. Right. Getting all the upgrades on it. So in the next 10 minutes, probably less than that, we're going to turn this production line on. In terms of money, it's going down because obviously we've got a lot more wages to pay, even though we're not they're not doing anything. Damn it, the game does sometimes do that way. If you click and drag it wrong, it wants to go elsewhere. Reverse parking sensors or whatever upgrade. I didn't even look. I'm just getting the upgrades that I can. There's those connected up. Those connected up. And those. Um, yep, yeah, that is fine. Those will come down and... Oh, I'll actually have to go to the end of this one, won't it? Yeah, it will. All the way across. And then in here. At least it's very readable. There's still some things that could be done, like showing when you're zooming to this level, like have a big yellow arrow to show where the entrances for the parts are. That would be quite nice. But, uh, you know, it's not a massive problem. So, we have parts to bring in. Well, I think the resource conveyor on this side can be simply that. It would make sense, wouldn't it? This one, we will have... As how we're gonna have this. You know what we could manage with that. I hope. I hope. And this one is the issue. This is the one that's gonna cut this concerns me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then we'll bring it down to there. And this one will go... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Probably best off this one. From here. Like that. It's because it's far away from anything. But you know what? Production has begun. Production is underway. There's our cars, look. They are streaming off the line already. Yep. Yeah, that's it. It's building cars. Well, we'll max speed it. And I'm essentially going to have to hold my breath now. Today's beverage is milk. It's uh, got... It's, it's the... Fully skimmed milk as well, so it's terrible to drink, but it's just what I have. Uh, immediately, we've got problems on the line. Look, it's not... It's putting it to the end of the line rather than taking it in there. Oh, no, but that took it in there. But the other one didn't. But either way, it's streaming stuff down. Obviously, it is going to take quite a while for the cars to get the end. Although this one, Genesis, is going there first. But there you go, look, the backlog is getting cleared. Having some flashes about with resources saying we've got some issues there, but not massively. It's, it is slowing the belt down, but not to a huge, not, not a huge extent, I don't think. Um, I need to check, I'm just checking the upgrades on some of these. I, I just hope I've got them all upgraded. You can see the upgrades here, looks like it. That's a car painted there. Look look at them all streaming through the line. Money is going... Look at that profit going down. I'm just hoping that once we start shipping these, we're going to do well. Right, what I'm what I'm dreading is the message of next... Uh, it's something... I think I can't remember what the exact message is, but it's along the lines of next slot not found, which means I've missed something out. And if we've missed it out around here... So far, so good, by the way. Oh, crap. There you go. Next slot not found. That's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, that's okay. 
that's just I didn't connect it up. That's fine. It's if it says next not lot found around here, and it's not a connection issue. If it's a me mucking up because I've missed genuinely the next uh, full line. So have I got the upgrades for these? Yes, I have got the upgrade of computerized sales, which you actually get like a little computer there. It looks very portly. That's what someone mentioned in the comments that they said the game. The way the game looks reminds them of the trailers for Portal. And yes, it does, you're right. I think very much like that, in fact. Very much like that. If you remember like the Aperture Science trailers for Portal 2. Portal 2, not sorry, not Portal Portal 1. Portal, um, Portal 2 is the uh, is the ones they're on about. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. A lot of people saying, oh, look, so it's sort of a mix of Big Pharma and uh, and Factorio, isn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh <laughs> Big Farmer because he's the it's the publisher of Big Farmer, the, the person that's making this, um, and Factory because I guess it's 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 got you know it's got the factory stuff you lay, play stuff down. I I'm always sort of sorry for any game that comes after Factorio and tries to make the similar sort of thing because Factorio does it so well that it's like well, you know what? Where can you go from that? How can you top Factorio? I'm sorry, it's I I don't know if it's possible. I re I really don't. I think they've done such a good job with that game. Obviously, there's uh, now now going to be the inevitable call of go and play Factorio, but uh, you know, I've played, I've featured Factorio several times on the channel. I'm going to get back to it at some point, but um, you know what? There's so many other interesting games and stuff that I'm enjoying that uh, you know I'd rather play the ones I really enjoy rather than the ones that I do enjoy. Factorio, I like playing multiplayer actually with with, with a couple of friends. We just play co-op and stuff, and we find it quite relaxing. Um, so that's my sort of go-to there. <laughs> anyway, uh, this has got insufficient resources, so we have got a resource problem mainly around here. As you can see, it's always got problems with resources. Constantly giving us error messages with resources, and it is slowing the line down considerably. And I don't know what the solution would be, actually. Hmm. The solution would be... to free off some of the lines. Oh my god, we've got 50 odd cars waiting to be sold. Right, this is the issue that I said we we're gonna have where we're, we're, we're flinging off so many cars. <laughs> we've got so many cars getting coming off the line that uh, we're not gonna sell them fast enough to make any money. Reducing that down though has helped, but actually it's helped too much and we, we are selling them faster than we can make them, which is not what I want. I want a nice balance. Right, so this has got insufficient resources around here. That's the main issue. This is the one we have to fix first. So, load balancing now. We're on to load balancing. Okay. And also we've got power problems as well. But we can ignore that for now. So. What I need to do is have this resource importer work around here. Is it possible? If I do that, will it fix it? No. Because I was going to have that resource importer use two of these, but because it's so close, it's not going to do that. Which is a shame. Hang on then. Let me just put these back to where they were. Right. So this isn't streaming the resources in fast enough. Is it the brakes and wheel stuff? Yeah, it's brakes and wheel stuff. There's always they always have problems with that. So how can I balance the load better? I don't know what the solution would be actually, because there's no there's nothing around here that I can use to fix it. I mean, I could possibly, possibly connect this resource conveyor up, but that might cause more issues than it solves. Mm. If we connect that one up and just do a brute force approach to it. I might be clogging up the resource importers now, but it does seem to have fixed that issue, look. We're still getting some flashes now and again, we're seeing insufficient resources, but it's being fixed faster than it was. 
and I think as if as a temporary solution that's okay let's just keep looking down the line see where we've got other issues um, insufficient resources around here again flashing but not oh my god we've got 126 cars ready to be sold right reduce it down sell 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 go 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 <laughs> um, yeah we've got now and again insufficient resources but only by minutes uh, only by a couple of minutes so that's not a big issue Oh my god, that's that is an issue though. Money. Hmm. As long as we're selling cars, we're okay. But the problem, as I said, is the balancing. Is uh, make sure we sell the cars as fast as we are making them. There's no point in having a warehouse full of cars. That doesn't make you money. Okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do is around here, I'm going to put some more power plants because honestly, we do need more power. Because I'm spending money on power, you see, and I don't like it. And this area is going to be our power plant solution system. That'll do for now. I think by the time we get the upgrades on, we'll be sound. I think we'll be sorted. I like. We'll be sorted like, you know. Alright. Uh, that's not... That's not going to do it. Right. All the way to the end then. Uh, actually, no. We'll, we'll not do that. We'll remove that one. Mainly because if we ever want to use this back bit for something, we know it's here. And as long as we've got access to have a, a line, as long as we have a line that can go right along here and connect up to that output as well as the resource importer, then we should be okay. We're only just... Look at that. It's fluctuating. It's fluctuating. <laughs> Only just okay there. Alright. So where is the issue with resources? Well, it's still around here. We've still got... It's flashing now and again. The rest are... Oh, God. Look at the imports. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of imports. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, my God. We've got 160 cars. Let's reduce it down. I mean, how much... We're we gonna sell these cars for how much are we sell them for now? We're gonna to have to reduce it to say 25%. 173 cars. 74, 75, 70. Okay, we might have an issue. Because we are making these cars so fast. We <laughs> we're not <laughs> we're nearly up to 200 cars. Okay, they're not selling. Um, is it because of the crap? It could be. Oh, there we go. If we, if we reduce that down to, say, 15%. Hang on, why is it not? It's not letting, not allowing me to really reduce this. There's 15%. It's slowly... It's sticking around. No, it's slowly going back up. Pause it. 13%. Come on. There we go. It's slowly going down. But that'll, that'll probably tail off anyway. But yeah, um... So far, so good, I think. Look at that. I mean, look how, what, how long are the cars taking to go off the line? Let's export them every six seconds. And if it backs up to here and no further, it means that we are about three seconds. Because if we backed up any further, then we wouldn't be selling them fast enough. And that's six seconds, that's six seconds, two of three seconds apiece. Well, three seconds in total to sell them. So if it backs up further than here, we know we're producing them faster than we can sell them. And that's definitely not the case. I reckon we've probably got to four seconds. Well, we'll count it. So we'll see what it says when something passes here. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, it, this is not an accurate thing, really. So, 18, 1, 2, 3. That was close. That was very close. Okay. We'll wait until it hits a certain point, like this grid, and we're just looking at the clock here. So, 1, 7, 1, 2, 3. 
across the line three. Well, it might not be exactly three seconds. Well, we know it's not. We know it's over because looking at some of the tolerances, we were a tenth of a second out in some cases. And obviously, we've got resource problems. We've got backlogs in certain areas. But it's bloody close. It's very close. There's no red areas saying that there's an output problem. We've got a huge backup here. Look at this backlog for these resources. It is a resource problem around here, I believe. So do I, would, resol would that resolve it? Simply connecting more up does seem to fix the problem. I don't know if that is the case. Mm. All right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. There's no other resource importers, though, around that I can use, so that'll have to do. This one seems to be not too bad. This seems to have been fixed. It's, it's over here again. It's this. This is the issue, really. The flywheel assembly, fitting brakes and stuff. And I think, you know what? That, connecting all that up, may have caused more problems than it solved. It's difficult to tell. It's difficult to tell. Hmm. But, that is our three second car. I think it is a fine piece of work. We've currently got 200 odd cars ready to sell and we're going to have to reduce them now. We're making almost no money on them. In fact, that's the problem with this now is that we're essentially not selling cars and we've got so many of them that we have to reduce it to making almost no money. Like, we don't want to sell them at a loss. Oh, actually, we're selling them at a premium, to be fair. It depends on which these cars... I have to pause it to, to reduce this price because it just doesn't work. Um, we'll say 5% premium and that's it. How much... Does this actually really make? I mean, how many have we made? In the last 24 hours, 374. <laughs> mm. See, so it says sale price, 16.938, uh, 16, but it doesn't tell me how much it costs to make. Well, according to this, we're losing money. And we're losing it badly. Like, how am I going to... This is the this is where the game's balancing problem comes in. Premium, $38. <laughs> Can we shift the cars? We're not shifting them. We are not shifting cars. We're on nearly 300 cars. We're making them so fast that the game's balancing thing has just went, ah, right, yeah, well, so what? What if we adjust the price? There's the discount, look. Uh, a massive discount, in fact. I mean, get, get a massive discount, I mean, the profit goes up, I guess. <laughs> Is it profit? Because it's a tell it, again, it, I don't know how much actually costs the car. Well, we've got 12 million, and we've got rid of the backlog. Whether or not this is sustainable, though, I don't know. I don't know whether the this is going to be an issue. I know it is a known problem with the game, where essentially you can make so much that uh, so many cars, it, it, because it doesn't want you to make a massive profit on each one, it reduces the amount they're going to get, and blah blah blah, and then that makes it so eventually you can't make any money because it balances it down to nothing. It sort of artificially reduces the money. So I don't know whether it's sustainable. But either way, that is our three-second car. I'm very happy with that. There is some problems with it, but nothing that we can really change. But of, by all means, let me know if you have any suggestions and comments for this one. Next episode, we are going to be expanding to... I believe we'll do that one. And then we'll do that one. And what we'll do, we'll have a car. We'll build a car. Only like this. Something like this line. But we'll make it very luxurious. 
or something like that. I mean, what do you think? What do you think we should do? I mean, we can have a luxurious car. We can have one with loads of driver assistance and power assisted stuff. And we can have security features, environmental ones. There's loads of stuff we haven't unlocked, as you can see. It's mainly the driver assistance and safety features. Should we make the safest car possible? Safest car. Anti-lock brakes, reverse camera, all of this stuff in here. Lane departure warning system. Do you reckon we can do that? Well, some of it's in the game, some of it isn't. We'll have to see about that, won't we? But we will see how it goes. Next episode, let me know in the comments what you think we should do here. As always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. Don't know why I had a massive delay there. I sort of had a massive brain fart thinking about uh, the maths of this.